Oh, and welcome back. We did some robot research uh, between episodes. We did. Because we didn't, we didn't want to blow it with Kibo. Yeah. And it was not, like not obvious. Uh, we're not we're not good at picking gifts for Kibo, but because he's an enigma, a robot enigma. How about this? I feel excellent for the first time in a while. My movements are on point, wouldn't you say? Yeah, look at that, rotating mm. your shoulder like that. Should I hang out with Kibo for a while? Yeah. I see. You're interested in me because I am in top form today. Yeah, sure. Very well then. I will show you my true personality. What? <laughs> Kibo showed me his best moves. <laughs> oh, but... I hope he's break dancing. I couldn't tell if they were any different, but I'll keep that to myself. Uh, that's what coming hanging out with me gets you. <laughs> Kibo and I grew a little closer today. Not as close as uh, <laughs> Kibo and Mew. <laughs> All right, and so I we played a fun game where uh, John and Audrey had to try to guess. Uh, and it a, took a really a long, long time. time. Eventually found that he likes this, so we're going to give him this. Thank you very much. This is nice. It aligns with my preferences. No, we looked it up. You understand me. We do not. We I not feel even a little bit. happy. That's good. You Never tell him the truth. So you've come to talk to me again. You must be very fascinated me by me, Shuichi. That is understandable. You're a robot, yeah. In all the world, there is no other robot as impressive as I am. A particular level of impressive. <laughs> Why does he talk to me like that? A robot. Although, I suppose it's true that his technology is pretty amazing. Very human-like. Ask me about it. Look at those lips. Hey, Kibo, you said your father is Professor Itabashi, right? Do you know why he made you? Because it'd be cool. Oh, well, all right. The professor told me that I am the sum total of his research. The entirety of his knowledge, technology, and expertise in the field of robotic engineering. Technically also the product of his research, but the math works out the same either way. <laughs> all applied to create a robot more human than any had come before. That is what I am. John, that was like the nerdiest math joke I think we've ever <laughs> told here. <laughs> <laughs> He said, I am the culmination of his life's work. But I was not truly born until an incident occurred that the professor did not predict. Did it involve gamma rays? Lightning strike. Uh, flubber. <laughs> An incident? My strong AI was programmed such that my mental age would reflect my appearance. But unlike now... My AI was only capable of displaying a very narrow spectrum of human emotion. In response, the professor treated me the way a father would treat his son. But things did not improve. One day, a few years later, an accident occurred during a routine experiment. Acid. Memory acid. The goggles, Zedernossing! <laughs> My programming went rogue. And I ended up seriously injuring the professor. Oh. What? Fortunately, the professor survived his injury. But I died that day. Huh? Died? When I hurt the professor, I was overcome by the emotional response known as sadness. The first law of robotics states a robot must not harm a human being. Though I wasn't punished for violating that rule, I nevertheless felt sadness. I blamed myself for hurting my father. In doing so, I was overcome with guilt. And the professor realized that giving me scissor hands was probably a bad idea. <laughs> this is what it feels like to have human emotions. You were gonna sing? <laughs> <laughs> and then you sang, huh? At that moment, my AI suddenly reset, and I became not unlike a newborn infant. He wouldn't have to sing. He's got a record player? Is that what he had before? Cassette player. Cassette player. I see. So that's what he meant, means by died. Perhaps I simply wanted to be reborn as the professor's son again. Wow. That's, uh, that's something to talk about with your therapist. <laughs> <laughs> that's what the professor concluded, and he raised me as his own child. 
To tell you the truth, my memories were deleted when my AI reset. Oh. <laughs> so I learned all this secondhand from the professor himself. I had no idea he had experienced something so incredible. And such bullshit. Shuichi, is something wrong? Put your scissor hands away. Ah, well, how do I put this? I was just thinking, you really are the ultimate robot. To Professor Itab Itabashi, Kibo is more than just a robot. Assuming that he wasn't lying about any of that. And I'm sure that for Kibo, the professor is... Uh, what, what does that mean? Do you hold me in contempt now because I am a robot? How rude. Please reconsider your attitude towards me in the future. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got it, Kibo. High five. Well, friendship fragment. Kibo's report card has been updated based on your experience with him. Cool. All right, then. Listen to Kibo's stories about the professor and returned to my room and thought, hmm, friendship <laughs> is gonna get a little light. <laughs> Bing bong. Oh, oh no! Whoa! Whoa! Uh. Oh, that's better. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if they are saying this. They're not. Oh, uh, I don't know if we're that close. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> I'm blowing again. Nighttime. I'm training with Kaido, remember? Oh, Y'all remember? Right. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, no, I remember those things. Been a bit. We haven't done it for a while because of the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to do it tonight, right? In that case, I need to go to the courtyard. Well, all right then. Darkness time. <laughs> I can like that better than nighttime. I'm going to think I'm going to use that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teach your child the phrase darkness time. Hello. <laughs> Huh? Shuichi, where are you going? I don't know. Spit it. Leaves. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> ah, nowhere in particular. What about you, Angie? Dance naked moonlight. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> oh, I was just talking to the others. Huh? Talking? I others? think others I was the that. other question there. <laughs> 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 what is this talking? Maybe. Since they can't hear Atua's voice, I was explaining his wisdom to them. Uh. Ah, I see. Please step out of the way. Atta was touched by everyone's feelings, so he said we must all preserve the peace here. <laughs> I'm so relieved. I'll work with everyone to make this academy a paradise. She'll work with everyone? I wonder what she means by that. I think she just Bye, means... Bye, Inara, Shuichi. See you tomorrow. Yeah, probably not. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, yeah. Himiko's magic show was Angie's idea as well. Uh-huh. What is she planning this time? Something where there's gonna be a murder. Oh, time to go out to darkness time. Oh, just it just like zooms us right there. Trust falls into the endless pit. <laughs> 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 Looks like Kaido isn't here yet. Then suddenly... <laughs> oh, he just, oh, he just showed up. All right. Hey, sorry I was late. I had trouble bringing her. Her? Yeah. Yep. yep. Makes sense. Ship it! <laughs> Ugh. Huh? Maki? Why is Maki here? Like I'd know. That's what I'd like to know. Someone kept buzzing my <laughs> intercom, and I got so fed up, I finally opened the door. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Then Then this, this guy grabbed my arm and dragged me all the way here. Well, don't worry about the small stuff. He's very, like, Maki showed a lot of restraint not breaking Kaido's arm in this situation. Mm -hmm. 
If we're gonna train, it's more fun with three people than two, right? What? Training? Three of us? Is that really the reason you dragged me here? This is stupid. I thought we were gonna have an orgy, <laughs> but this is stupid. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm going too. back. <laughs> hey, you, you, you calling this stupid? Listen up. Listen up. When a hero has to fight with a big enemy, they train, 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 then train some more. How do I Gonna have, to have a montage. <laughs> Today montage. is down to business. Today has made me appreciate how relatively huns. easy, like, normal you are, Kaito. <laughs> That's what this training is. It's important for a hero like me. We are men. So you guys can be like super dog, cat, or horse by my side to help me be the hero. Tips on horse. Uh, um... Of all the examples you could have picked. <laughs> Did you really think that crazy explanation would convince me to stay? Well, yeah. This is stupid. This is still stupid. I'm going back. Hold on. Hey, uh, hold on a sec. When I said I was the hero, that's just from my perspective. But you know, even super pets think of themselves as heroes. Let's do it. Same goes for both of you. Each of you are the heroes of your own stories. See, and then he just does stuff like that. And you're <laughs> like, you know? Yeah, okay. So act more like it. Huh. Hey. I don't know what you're up to, but I told you both to stay away from me. You know this will end badly if you don't. So why are you being so difficult? Hey, so... How long are you gonna run away? Huh? What? Kylo brought his face close to Maki's. Mm. Your mask is coming <laughs> down. I could tell just by looking at you today. So, you guys mind your business, I'll mind mine, and we'll all agree to avoid each other. Please, just pretend I'm not even here. I mean, you're not the terrifying person the others think you are. Oh, uh, Shuichi's like, do I need to be what, here for this? Go? <laughs> you're just a coward. Between this and the mute Kibo thing, <laughs> I think I'm done today. <sighs> like, am I just going to be around couples the rest of this game? <laughs> Third wheel in the whole game. <laughs> hey, what's your enemy? It's a shame that your OTP got, you know, your half of the OTP <laughs> got killed in the first trial, but... Hey. Huh? My enemy? The Foot Clan. <laughs> you don't need to tell me what it is, as long as you know it yourself. Listen up. So how long are you going to run away from your enemy? Huh? Run away? Keep repeating everything you're saying. <laughs> yeah, you've been running away. It's pretty pathetic. Pathetic? That's right. Lame. But if you want to stand against it, even a little, I'll train with you so you can be strong. What? Uh -oh. What? No. <laughs> Maki is getting angry. Kind of just provoking her. Is he going to be okay? <laughs> He's antagonizing the ultimate assassin. <laughs> So what are you going to do? Kaito. Hey, Kaito, it's okay. You don't have to... Okay. Fine, I'll do it. Huh? huh? <laughs> You'll do it? Then... Don't get the wrong idea. He'll just bug me about it later if I refuse. Hey, so you do get it. <laughs> <laughs> the look on Shuichi's face. <laughs> what? <laughs> Only way to deal with idiots like him is to give up and just keep nodding. You don't get it at all. Whatever, you just better get ready. I won't hold back just because you're a girl. Well, what are we doing first? All right, first, a hundred push-ups. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow Maki ended up joining us and the three of us trained together. I believe they kept training after I passed out. <laughs> <laughs> Five! <laughs> Five! Hey, Kaido. No slacking today, yeah? I'm counting your reps. I can easily do 50 push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said it in a hundred, dude. <laughs> I thought we were doing a hundred. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
coming. Yeah. Yeah. A uh, hundred. Huh. I'm done. Maki stood and brushed the dirt from her hands. Totally composed. And in a skirt. You, you're done already? You're, you're not even out of breath. I guess you've trained before, huh? No, die! <laughs> Aren't you breathing a little too hard? It's not like we really pushed ourselves. Before coming here, I, I did some warm-ups. Uh, I already did, like, 500 push-ups, <laughs> so... I mean... Kind of, that was the best line you could come up with? Anyway, I'm done and you can't say I didn't train with you. I'm going back to my room. Okay, we're doing training tomorrow too. You better be there. <sighs> Maki ignored Kaido and left without a word. OTP. <laughs> and don't try and don't think you can undo your doorbell. <laughs> Jeez, why she gotta be so difficult? Hey Kaido, why'd you do all this? To help her? Hmm? If someone's weak, you help them out. Teamwork's important for astronauts. And monocubs. Someone's weak and suffering. There's no way you could just leave them. Weak and suffering? Maki? Right. In well, a spiritual sense. In that sense, you're, uh... Nah, your case is a little different. <laughs> what do you mean? You're noodly. Yeah. <laughs> uh, keep never. hearing that. <laughs> anyway, let's just keep going. You're still in the middle of your push-ups, right? So are you. Weren't you listening? I already did 500 push-ups before I got here. No. Nice try, Kaito. Kaito ended up saying he didn't remember how many push-ups he did. <laughs> we agreed to just start over. Start over? We were exhausted <laughs> by the time we reached 100. Understandably. Okay, push-ups are really hard. Yeah, yeah. If you can do 100 push-ups... And you're not, like, reasonably professional at it, then you're doing them wrong. <laughs> ah, so tired. When I got back to my room, I huffed out a deep sigh and fell backwards onto my bed. Without stretching first. Kaido <laughs> oh. kind of bringing Maki. He really is crazy. Oh, he's like 17. He can get away with yeah, that. Yeah, that's true, yeah. But maybe it's because he's crazy that Maki came in the first place. Hmm. Kaido, kind of, you really are something else. My eyelids closed as I continued talking to myself and <laughs> eventually drifted to sleep. That wasn't worrisome at all. <laughs> Monodam Theater! Oh no! Hmm. Curious. Whoa. <laughs> Curious what we mono cubs do when you're not around. I'll tell you. We listen to foreign music and laugh at the funny sounding words. <laughs> okay. When we hear the songs that sound perverted, we get really excited. All right. We also wear pajamas all day and lounge in an air-conditioned room. Now you're talking that, my that language. That's nice, yeah. And when we all go out together, they usually make me steal. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're all such good friends. We're always together. Except when they run away when I get caught stealing. Yeah, that would too. Mm, I mean, let's go steal things. Well, that was insightful. <laughs> okay. Oh, they healed up well. Okay. This is an here. official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. This is an emergency announcement. Please assemble in the gym. Refusal to get along is grounds for punishment. No, oh, one of them. You are really obsessed with this whole getting along thing. Friends is the only show he watches now. Okay. Do, 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 do. They're like two, three episodes behind us. Yeah, I know. If you didn't get, if you don't get along, I won't forgive you. Okay. I will use the exosols to peel your faces off like mandarin oranges. <laughs> oh, that's so gory. Please get along, every. <laughs> uh, she puked again. Oh, it's blue this time. How rare. <laughs> <laughs> they say anyone who sees Monophon is blue puke will have good luck. <laughs> <laughs> it's just so much better in a Russian accent. Yeah, it is. Assemble in the gym, huh? 
I have a bad feeling about this. That happens a lot to you. Yeah, look where I am. Yeah. Hey, Shuichi, I totally did 50 more push-ups before you got out here. <laughs> hey, bro. Good morning. Uh, did you hear the announcement? Yeah, we got to meet up in the gym, right? What's going on so early in the morning? At the break of day. Well, I guess we got no choice but to go. You go on ahead, bro. What? You're not going? No, I'm just tying my shoes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm going. I just got to take care of something first. Then I'll meet you there. Kind of Gotta pointed sneak. at the door to Maki's room. I suppose he's going to take her. Hey, so they said everybody's got to be there, right? Who knows what'll happen if some of us don't show up? He's actually sneaking Maki out of his room. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Last night's training session. Now this. Kind of was concerned about Maki. <laughs> please don't. God, please don't. It would be nice if he could help her get along with everyone. Oh, Kyo, I'd like to thank you for not hooking up with anyone yet. <laughs> Come on, Kyo. Are you going to the gym? Ah, yes. I was about to head over just now. I overslept a bit today, you see. <laughs> of course, the one time I do that, we are summoned. So I panicked a bit. I am normally ready to leave my room by 7.30 a.m. That early? I usually wake up when the, at the Monocubs announcement. I usually wake up at 6 a.m. Since it takes me so long to get ready each morning. Why does it take so long? Isn't that even longer than what a girl takes? Shuichi. Well, Kyo does have a pretty elaborate uniform. Perhaps that's why. In any event, we've no time for idle chats. I shall go on ahead to the gym. Hmm. You in there, Maki? Oh, okay. No. <laughs> Doesn't matter. <laughs> Maki, it's best if you go on your own. <laughs> All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh. <laughs> Here we go. Good morning. Sorry about that mini seizure. <laughs> yeah. Did that mean good morning? Yeah. What a pain. <laughs> Why do we have to go to the gym so early in the she morning? She might be the character I hate the most. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, but I don't think it's anything good. We have an important student council meeting today. But this is going to use up all my energy. Have you ever had your iron levels tested? <laughs> <laughs> an important meeting? It's fine. Now, now, it's okay. You won't use up too much energy just walking to the gym. Yeah. Hey, hey about this meeting, are you planning something? Oh, yeah, sort of. Angie said we could have should have a party. We were planning to play in the pool with everyone after this. You know, the one that was recently the site of a murder? Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> I see. Atwa said he wanted to play by the pool. What a peculiar request for a god to make. Oh no, now's no time to be standing here talking. If we don't hurry up to the gym, our faces might get peeled like mandarin oranges. I don't like me mandarin oranges. Peeling off all the white stuff is a pain. Okay, no, I can agree with that statement. You eat the white stuff. <laughs> what? The pool. So that's where all the girls will be. Or at least like uh -oh. three girls. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Ah! <laughs> what? Do you want something from me? Uh, Monokuma stared at me silently, intensely, as though he were trying to tell me something. Oh, Ken! I'm a little worried about what this actually <laughs> is. <laughs> well, what is it? You have something to say? Say it! I, you're getting confused about your voices here. Suddenly a thought flashed into my mind. Whoa, he's like... Oh no. Oh, wait. I th what? I thought we missed it. I guess we didn't. Wait. Oh, oh Man's no. Fantasy. No, it's a man nut. <laughs> what, 
where's this thought coming from? No. Aww. It's coming from one of the things, not from my mind, from my heart, from no. something in my inventory. Not from my mind, from my inventory. <laughs> Why did we have to buy all that stuff? <laughs> yes, my heart. For I have love on my side. <sighs> <sighs> I understand now, Monokuma. You're telling me that it's time. The girls are going to play in the pool, Aww. which means they'll be in swimsuits. This is at least this is still not as bad as the <laughs> as the first Danganronpa. <laughs> that must mean a zany yet romantic single player. <laughs> it all be uh, I don't hate, I don't hate this as much as I hated the the um the sauna spying scene. But should I? Is it really okay to be doing something like that? Tenko would kill me. Oh, we have a choice? I mean, we can't miss a scene, right? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, we, go ahead. we did it for the other two. I mean, this is <laughs> a completion true. thing. Yes, I can't back down now. The power of love in my chest has filled me, my throbbing heart. <laughs> Full charge! <laughs> I have no choice. I must go. Oh, it's the access all. <laughs> okay. Okay. Like, whoa! Whoa! whoa. whoa. <laughs> Okay, but yeah. this is... It's not now, right? It's not, no, it's not now. It's, like, after... Let me double check. I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh okay. Yeah, gym scene, and then... Okay. Oh, boy. I see. Oh, good. It means we have something <laughs> to look forward to. Still wasn't as, like, overtly possessed by a nut as Hajime was. Yeah, that too. Yeah. Kibo, want to see my nut? <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Okay. Good morning, Kibo. Shuichi, doesn't this summons give you an uneasy feeling? Well, yes, uh, I suppose it does. Based on prior events, perhaps another motive is going to be announced. The timing is similar to when we received the monocub pads. Okay. Yes, I think that may be the case. But it's all right, no matter what kind of motive is prepared for us. We can oppose it together. Huh? I have decided. Don't worry. We won't allow the killing game to continue. That was strange. He was uncharacteristically optimistic. Eh, Mew. <laughs> what, what do you mean by won't allow it to continue? Shuichi seems surprisingly unconcerned about fighting the killing game. <laughs> eh. Like, wait, not just, you know, engaging in a killing game? See, those are different flowers. I believe you. Yeah, no, I think, I think, um, yeah, I think as things are going on, they're steadily... Oh, yeah, well, this, this actually does look like... Yeah, fine, I'll give you some flower. Yeah. Well, those are daisies. Yeah, no, these, yeah, these are some cone flowers, ones. I think. That's a bench. That's a yeah, bench, it mostly. is. Should we just lay down and let the world wash away? We did away? not have this color scheme before. Yeah, no, these are all, these are different. We're getting different ones with each uh, each, with each chapter. chapter. All right. Well, it looks like we will go through and enter the gym and maybe have a nut scapade. Oh, on the next episode. On the next episode. Thank you. Let's throw about a nut scapade. <laughs> <laughs> we always are. <laughs>